Are you planning a cross-country trip with your feline friend? Don't let air travel be a catastrophe for you and your furry cat panion. In our video today, we'll show you how to make your cat's journey comfortable and truly possum from takeoff to touchdown. So sit back, enjoy the flight, as this video takes you on a possum journey with your meowing mate. It gives you an inside look at how to make air travel comfortable for your furry friend, so that they won't be feline anxious during the flight. Okay, you are getting ready to go on your flight and the very first thing you need to do is choose a cat carrier. I'll go over this in just a minute and the next things you need to do is gather your supplies to go. So I bring two pee pee pads. I also bring an empty water bottle and a three ounce can of cat food because you know Apparently water is explosive and so are five ounce cans of cat food. But go ahead and bring an empty water bottle. You can fill it in the airport and bring a three ounce can of emergency cat food. Bring some dry food as well and don't forget to bring a dish. Now I bring a little syringe because if the flight is delayed at all, then we can give water to the cat in the cabin and uh, it gets very dry in cabin and if you are delayed then the cat has a tendency to get a little bit dehydrated so i bring a little syringe to help that out with and then i have this lovely little cart that helps me put the cat carrier on the cart with a little Sturdy is not sponsoring this video. However, Sturdy, if you want to sponsor this video, I'm for it. You can contact me. I have tried other carriers on the plane, and for me and for my cat, this one actually works really well. So let me go through a couple of little things that work well for me. The design is a really flexible carrier although it has a uh, wire, it can be broken down and put into your suitcase. It does have a nice little comfy pad inside that is completely removable and washable. It has a very solid bottom. I can use my cart actually in the airport. I can put this on a cart and I'll show you that in a little bit. There's a nice little bottom in there and that's replaceable. It has a carry handle as well as a shoulder handle. It has ventilation here. It has ventilation in the back. It has two ventilation panels on top, one of which it can be unzipped. You do have to take your cat out at TSA. So you have to have a, a, a zipper that is easily unzipped. Now let me show you how a cat fits in here. That's really one of the reasons that I like this. It's very roomy, especially for my big Maine Coons. Here you go. There we go. That's it. Anyone who chooses to purchase Sturdy from this video, we'll get 10% off. As I said, I'm not getting anything from it. I just asked the company if they would give anybody who wanted um, a discount. And they said yes. So go ahead and go to the link below in my video and you can get 10% off if you order a sturdy carrier. Now, the other piece of it is that most airlines ask for a carrier that is 18 and a half by 13 and a half by nine. And Sturdy is 18 and a half by 12, which it looks bigger than that, by 11. So it goes a little bit taller. Now it does squish down and uh, it fits under the seat on Southwest nicely. And I have to say that Southwest is a little skimpy on their seats. 
I like to sit in the middle because the window seat slants and the carrier doesn't fit very well. And the aisle seat, people walk by and kick my carrier. But Southwest gives you a little bit more room in the middle seat um, because it's not a desirable seat, I think. And they the carrier fits under there very, very nicely. You're going to want a harness that fits your cat easily and have it adjusted ahead of time so you can just get it on very quickly. You don't want it to fit too tightly. I really like these harnesses that have the metal D-rings because these little plastic clips can break and as you're going through TSA if the cl plastic clips break, then you have a loose cat and that's not good. So the leash can go right through the double D rings and it's the harness actually is really nice and secure. Okay, on the day of travel, you're going to want to put the harness on your cat, pop your cat in the carrier, get all the various supplies together in one place. I use a plastic envelope to keep them all together in my backpack and get yourself to the airport. Get to the airport early because you have to go up to the desk to pay for your cat's travel. With Southwest, it's $95 currently, and then you can go to your gate. Well, we've covered it all from the airport antics to in-flight escapades. So let's whisker away and summarize this wild ride. Flying with your cat is like a juggling act with fish, but it's a magnificent experience. From passport checks to x-ray machines, these fur balls demand our attention. Brace yourself for airport security shuffle and maneuvering your curious cat through the x-ray machine without any whisker-related mishaps. When it's time to board the plane, be prepared for the juggling act of navigating the narrow aisle while carrying your cat in their carrier. Embrace stares from fellow passengers as you try to shove the cat carrier under the seat. So whether you're a seasoned traveler or a brave soul embarking on your first feline flight, follow these specific steps in the video and let your love for cats soar to new heights. Once you arrive at your destination, don't forget to get your cat a treat. Safe travels, fellow adventurers, and may your flights with your feline friends be nothing short of whisker-filled fun. Comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, or Minty will steal your glasses.